Hey everyone, Technomancer here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix ghost touches on your Android phone by following these steps. So let's get started. So very first thing you want to rule out is that it's not your case or screen protector that's impacting. So just remove your case and if you have a screen protector, if it's old or damaged or broken, it might actually be impacting your screen. So I would recommend remove it or if you installed a new screen protector, it could be that screen protector itself. Now, once your phone is without any case or screen protector, you want to make sure you clean the screen. So you lock it, take a microfiber cloth, really clean it really well. Sometimes if you have residue, dirt, lint, anything that could be on the screen, oil from your finger or accidentally get on it, it's going to cause ghost touches. So you want to rule that out by cleaning that front screen. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you're going to go ahead and ensure that there is no moisture or charging issue. So this case, make sure your charge port didn't get wet. Sometimes there's a uh, wetness around that or around the phone as well. It also can cause issues. You want to let it dry out on its own, um, somewhere well ventilated as well. Now, after you have done that, the next thing to do is go ahead and check out this setting in your settings. So just go into your setting and then you're going to look for display and then scroll down into the section for accidental touch protection and touch sensitivity. So you want to basically turn this on so that it doesn't have accidental touches on the screen. So it's going to make it a little bit more resistant to those ghost touches. And then same with touch sensitivity. You want to increase the touch sensitivity for your protection so that it doesn't accidentally touch without you touching it, uh, especially if the touch becomes sensitive, it's going to have those ghost touches. So either or you're going to play around with see which one works. Maybe I'll turn this one off, this one on, or leave both of them on. So each case it's going to be different, but you want to go ahead and follow that. Now after you have done that, the next thing to do is go ahead and just do a simple restart. You can pull it from the top here or use the volume down button and the side button or uh, simply the power button up here and then restart your phone. And once you restart, it's going to reload the software, making sure it's not a software glitch causing that issue. And then once you have done that, the next thing you want to do after you reboot back is to make sure your phone software is updated. So in your setting, uh, you're going to scroll down to software update and check for new update. Uh, if there is a new update, go ahead and update your phone. Sometimes a previous update might be causing issues with your Android phone. So if you have an update like this, you're going to go ahead and proceed to updating your phone to the latest OS version to rule out any software issues. And then other thing you also want to consider is that if you are connected to another external device, maybe even through plugged in external uh, Bluetooth keyboard, USB OTG devices, stylus, or any accessories, you want to disconnect them. Sometimes they can cause uh, issues with the phone touch as well. So in your setting, just check connections and Bluetooth, maybe make sure that nothing is connected. Sometimes those devices can interact uh, weird with your phone, so you want to turn that off. And by following these steps, you should have fixed the ghost issue on your Android phone. I hope this video was helpful, so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. See you guys next time.